So, today we're making my mini bike a dirt bike pretty much. Greg went with the street bike because he's a scaredy cat. Mm -hmm. I'm going dirt bike version. Taking the headlight off, putting on a number plate, putting on the same plastics but matching the blue. They're actually uh, YZF450 front fenders where mine was CRF. So they got a little bit different shape to them, but not much. Oh, oh boy. Gosh. So we will be putting the gas tank on it later, but we got to get some bungs, bungs to weld in. So we took the gas tank off the 301 bike to slap on here. It's actually sitting on my bike just to see what it looks like. And you can see it looks good, but the fuel bungs are back there and you can tell the lowest part of the tank. You can see the lowest part of the tank <clears throat> is actually up front. So we got to weld in some bungs, some bungs. So just like on my bike, I'm gonna pull these old eggshell fenders. We don't like them. Some people like They're them. The best. <laughs> we don't. So, and pull the headlight off and see what it looks like for these new parts. Then we're gonna do some testing with uh, different shocks. Yes. Cause this one does bottom out when I go over the driveway pretty aggressive and I'm sure it would on you as well. No. Well, doubt no. So we're actually going to be cutting these uh, headlight brackets off because it is pushing against that number plate. We want it to sit in there. I mean, we could leave it and do some zip tying, but it's just going to look better if we sink it in there. Went with the same brand fenders. These are like $25. So pretty cheap little, little upgrade. And I think it looks a ton better. Just bolt the whole entire thing in there. Yes. Like that. That's what it should be. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna leave <laughs> so I think we're gonna leave this whole length of this fender because it'll keep you know a little bit of mud from splashing on the NG on so we can just drill holes on mine I don't know why why did we cut mine just because we're idiots probably yes okay that makes a lot of sense <laughs> that is what I would imagine so that fenders we just got drill holes and bolt that on so that's quick um, well, remember we flattened this out. To yeah, me. I was about to say we're gonna need to get some because they have a curve because the old ones were eggshell shaped. Stupid, yeah. but they Dumb. did it. Hate it. I'm gonna try to do it with these bias grips, baby. I right think that there? looks sick. Yeah. That right there. Good. Yes. Need a sharpie. Sick. Are you gonna get a number for it? 116? Not 116, I gotta change. Oh. Okay, 116. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cut these, it's right in that bin. Just get in there like that. Stop, stop. Don't try to cut the bracket under it, I'll fire you. Um, you don't have the authority to, to do something like that. Oh, there you. I do. Ah! <laughs> So your boy Lonnie is at work all week and I figured it would be pretty cool to uh, have his mini bike completely ready for this weekend and him not expect it. So I'm gonna act like when I'm talking with him that his bike isn't gonna be ready. So when he comes over, he thinks we're gonna work on it and then boom, she's done. What we're gonna be doing today is putting on the Pro Taper little handlebar guard like for a dirt bike. So we have to have a brace. So I bought this billet aluminum. This is the same one I've been running on my Trailmaster. Uh, but of course we went with blue for Lonnie. And then that'll give us this Pro Taper handlebar guard. And then this can wrap around that. That's what that's made for. I just love anodized aluminum. I think it looks awesome. 
I'm hoping that it fit. Oh yeah, it'll be perfect. Okay, it's pretty sweet. Now this goes kind of down through there. mount our muffler and start building the header. When I build headers, that's the first thing I do is mount my muffler where I'm going to have it so it's all good there. You see the fender is touching the uh, the muffler just a hair. That'll be okay. We can trim it accordingly. So we'll put our nuts on here, get this cinch down so it's tight. Then we can start cutting our tubing. It has to come up through here, through this little hole and into this. So what I do to step this down, if I'm going to use one inch tubing, I have these um, sanitary pipe fittings. I got one laid right over here. So I buy these off eBay. These are one inch to one and a half inch. They're really high quality stainless steel. I always put it down through there. So when I weld it, there's a, a neck on the inside. Instead of just butt welding it like that, I like to you know drop it down and i can tack this all as one piece slide it back into the muffler start building my header but before i do that i want to see if i have enough one and a half inch tubing then i can go from one inch and kind of you know widen out the the exhaust to the muffler that's what i'd like to do we'll see if that'll happen see a lot of the times i use these headers i just cut them up wherever i, I would go power sports makes a build your own header kit that doesn't have the flange on it we've about used all those making headers. <laughs> Hop it up, header. Cool. to mention in this video that i did film the whole build process of this hemi predator so basically what it has is a billet rod billet flywheel it's got i think a 265 cam in it i put chromoly push rods 26 pound valve springs and then i did the billet retainers for the valve springs and stainless steel valves and i did a mild port job on the head and it has a 24 millimeter mccuni so uh that build video will be coming out in a couple of weeks uh, build videos on engines take a little bit so uh, stay tuned for that so back to the video uh, let's see she's gonna start i can tell she got some y'all response are good
took it. too long. I was trying to catch Daddy leaving. I'm done. Where'd he go? We just had birthday party tonight. So last night I rode Lonnie's bike just to break it in. I let it run for probably like 15 minutes and I did some real mild pulls like I might have got to three grand going down the driveway. So now I'm going to change the oil and I'm going to put a uh, mobile one synthetic back into it. I broke it in with mobile one. People say you're not supposed to break in with synthetic. ARC breaks their engines in with synthetic. So if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. So I'm going to put this other half quart of mobile one in it and also I'm going to put about I'm going to put about 15 ounces of the mobile one and I'm going to put about one ounce of this Lucas high zinc. This is going to break in my bearings and my cam and everything really good. We do have some billet lifters coming for this engine. I completely forgot about billet lifters. Uh, so everything is basically bulletproof in the valve train other than his lifters. Uh, that'll come and the, I'm sure the factory ones are fine, but we're wanting to build this to be like a dirt bike grade mini bike. That's the whole goal with all these uh, strength parts like the you know billet rod and stuff but the chromoly push rods you know stuff like that you're not going to get any more power you just want to uh to beef up the bike so it's stout so i'm going to change the oil which is actually extremely easy and it's raining today which kind of sucks because this bike is probably going to get filthy so uh let's change the oil and lonnie is on his way Okay, so I drained the oil, and it takes forever using those little uh, drain hoses. I don't know if you've seen it, but the links are in the description where you can get those drain hoses. Just keeps oil and crap from going on your frame. But so uh, I rode it a little bit last night. Didn't get it in real high RPMs. Rode it more today, and it's wet, so the thing will spin like crazy. But the bike is sweet. So Lonnie's going to go do a top speed run, and he's going to, and it's a five to one ratio gearing ratio, and he's going to have a GoPro on. Uh, what do you think about your bike, Lonnie? This thing is sick, and we finally got to use the uh, tank that Brad Hill made for me. We meant to put this on my main chopper. I don't remember if you got. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the way it looks, and I've got to ride it already. The engine's freaking mean. Yeah, By far the meanest one I've ridden so far. I think. Yeah. What do you think compared to the box in Texas? Uh, it's hard to. I think oh, the Tillotson God. we rode. Yeah. Was a little bit well, more aggressive. Well, you were on it mostly. I barely got yeah. to ride that one. The one I kept riding wasn't that mean. It was just fun. Yeah. And the Tillotson I was riding, which we have a Tillotson built, exactly like the one in Texas right there. And it's going on the Coleman BT200X very soon. Yeah. But Lonnie's bike is mean. And I can imagine, I was telling Lonnie, I weigh 100 pounds more than Lonnie. So I can imagine what this bike feels like with Lonnie on it. Think of that. That's Lonnie nice. holding... <laughs> what are concrete 50 pound bags yeah yeah so that's him holding two of those on his lap riding it is what i feel Lonnie's going to throw the gopro on he's going to go play around on it and do a top speed run and then uh yeah we'll end this puppy so yeah. start her up baby what do you before we go what's your guess on top speed because we got to do that like always i'm gonna say 52. i'm gonna say 55. 55? yeah I you 50. 55. i hope it goes 55. <laughs> But oh this God, thing's, 53. This thing's oh, going to be... Grayson in, has his answer. It's 53. He went, what did you say? 52. 50. Yeah, he, he did the old uh, Price is Right. <laughs> <laughs> hit, you, hit you with one more. <laughs> it's a good strategy. Those people usually win. And make sure, guys, the whole build list is in the description for this bike. Go on, go Power Sports and use my discount code. But the discount code doesn't work on racing parts, which, you know, all that is pretty much. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so good luck. <laughs> But the bike is in there. Everything we've used on this build is listed. Now, make sure to always check out those those links that do help the channel out. So Lonnie's going to start this hoss up. It's got a good sound to it. Sounds like oh, a yeah. dirt bike.
sorry guys, I forgot to turn you on before I left, but you're gonna get the important part anyways. Top speed gun. I said 54. You said 55. 55. I said 52. Grayson said 53. And I was dead on. 52. Was he? <laughs> 52. 52 max. So me and Lonnie talked about putting an RPM gauge. I have a RPM gauge to throw on this bike. But of course we don't have a charging system. So we're going to run 18650 battery pack that will run at 12 volts. And be able to run a gauge, you know, long as we need it. Yeah. But uh, did you ride anywhere else? No, I just did top speed run. And then on the way back, a truck had passed me. I was like, I'm going to try to stay with them. And uh, it did pretty good. So, uh, guess what? What? You ready for this? Ratio rockers just came in the mail. Hey! So he's got some roller ratio rockers, 1.2s, to put on this. And that's supposed to make this cam way better. Like, it's supposed Open to be up. night and day difference uh, with them ratio rockers. So very soon it won't be the next video on this bike the next video we're gonna have to take it riding yeah uh, he had a little malfunction basically i used a different pull start when i paint i wanted to use this handle and the reason i didn't just pull the handle off was because this pull start has a neck for this handle to seat down into well i guess these uh stock trailmaster engines the jong sang wounds um the the little fins don't kick out as much as a the cup on the predator so what i need to do is get the cup that goes with this and pull the cup off the flywheel and swap that out so we won't have that problem he i basically had to run him uh tillotson side cover to slap on it or pull start I because think it, it looks good it. on there with it being blue yeah it's just the, the different color blue is what the only thing yeah but uh yeah so we'll uh we'll get that pull start situated and uh yeah do you think you want to ride it anymore yeah yeah it's a sweet mini bike i like it a lot it's the uh, dirt bike we've always wanted to build well it's not there yet i think it needs a few more for them build Stiffer, lifters. Uh, back shocks yeah we have those in the garage that'll be in the next video throwing the new shocks on it letting lonnie jump the driveway putting the other set see which one he likes because this is after all his bike so and brad hill's going to actually make us another one of these tanks that's about an inch inch and a half longer to hide the frame and fill the frame up a little bit more i think that'd look pretty sweet but all in all awesome bike yes Well, guys, uh, Lonnie's mini bike is ready to rip. So we're going to take it to some woods in just a week or so. I'm waiting to get a mini bike finished for me, an off-road mini bike. Uh, the Trailmaster Street Legal mini bike is done. I just haven't filmed the last bit of it, and I'm waiting on the gas tank to get finished at paint. I got a buddy painting it up really nice for me. So once it's on there, we can give it the first fire. 
and uh, take it down the road and we'll probably go ahead and drive it to town because it does have everything wire brake lights tail lights uh, running light all that junk so uh stay tuned lonnie's bike is going to go uh, we're going to take it up to the mountains and go for a ride now uh, again this engine has a lot of parts that was really just bulletproof in it so the only thing that's really going to make a difference on power of course was the ported head the the cam and the carb you know and the advanced timing on the flywheel but uh for the most part we did everything to make his engine super strong now we did get some roller rockers in um that are 1.2 ratio rockers for his engine i don't know if we're going to put them in it yet we may be swapping him to an even more aggressive cam very soon but for now his bike it hit 0 to 40 in 6.3 seconds when i timed it so uh, that's pretty quick the bike it runs really strong to 4,000 rpms we're going to put a tack on it to see how high the engine's revving and uh, see what we can do with the torque converter testing it late, uh, later on to see how we can squeeze a little bit more out of that uh, engine because I feel like the torque converter may not be letting it rev as far as it could. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to use all the links in the description of the video where you can find everything we used on his bike and uh, keep coming back to Mini Bike Monday. We've got a lot of mini bikes coming. We've got a lot of upgrades to the BT200X. We also got some Monster Moto 212s coming. Thank you guys for watching. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. God bless. Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.